Hello, everybody. For those of you who know me, you know that I have two great passions, Ayurveda and aromatherapy. I've been an Ayurveda practitioner now for several years, uh, Ayurveda being the 5,000-year-old health healing philosophy of India. Directly translated from Sanskrit, Ayurveda means the knowledge or the study of life. But it's not life like the Greek word biology in its linear sense. It is really the, um, a much broader definition is held uh, in Ayurveda for life. It's, it's the study of longevity, how to grow old gracefully, the study of how to have a mind and a body and how to live in accordance with nature's rhythms. And aromatherapy is the study of the therapeutic application of aroma. My great passion, my curiosity, is where these two converge, which is why I want to invite you to a very special open Facebook group where we can begin to investigate where these two modalities overlap. Now, to be very, very honest, uh, essential oils come with a slightly exaggerated and poetic uh, mythology. You'll he hear people say that essential oils are thousands and thousands of years old. That's not exactly true. Uh, certainly fragrance and aroma have been around for millennia. For, in fact, Ayurveda is an aromatic science. Almost every plant that we cook into a carrier oil is a fragrant aromatic plant. Uh, and these plants and these spices, these herbs, their fragrance is a key uh, essential component to healing in Ayurveda. We also see fragrance and, and, um, and aroma in spiritual practices, in religious ceremonies and devotional rituals. So yes to all that. But essential oils as we know them today, as defined as taking vast amounts of plants from vast varieties of, of species, and distilling them down into a very highly concentrated, potent form of botanical medicine, that is really only a few decades old, right? However, do they overlap still? Something modern with something so ancient? Yes, yes, yes. Just because something is modern, it doesn't mean that it cannot be seen through the lens of Ayurveda. Remember, Ayurveda is the science of life. Wherever there is life, there is the study, there is the knowledge of life. So when we talk about essential oils and we talk about this bottle right here having uh, about 250 drops of pure, unadulterated, pristine life from a plant, that is absolutely applicable for Ayurveda study. So I haven't seen many forums that looks at essential oils from the perspective of Ayurveda. That's why I'm excited to start this. Now, one of the great things and the advantages we have in Ayurveda is that we have a classification process. We can classify all these oils according to, for example, the 20 classical gunas, which are the qualities of Ayurveda. For example, things are either hot or cold or heavy or light. We can also classify oils in terms of the pancha mahabhutas, which are the five elements, or we can classify for the three doshas. Um, we can classify agni versus soma, uh, the five different pranas or vayus. Because we have a classification system that allows us to take a vast amount of knowledge and be able to take that knowledge and, um, and learn about oils very quickly and very easily. So as I unpack oil after oil, we can look at them in terms of these classifications and see if they will speak to your specific constitution. It's just another angle to look at the oils. And also to learn how to, uh, to take an essential oil and make it more biocompatible for you. You know, in Ayurveda, it's already in a biocompatible form because we're taking the entire plant and cooking it into uh, a, a base oil, right? But essential oils, because like I said, they are so highly concentrated, we have to be very judicious and we need education on how to make an essential oil more biocompatible for us. Uh, it could be in the diluting of the oil before we put it on the skin or certain ways that we take ingest oils, although I am very conservative when it comes to ingesting oils. But of course, aromatically is the way that we really take oils in and can have great benefits for you. 
I hope you're excited about this as I am. If you're interested in joining this Facebook group, just uh, send me your Facebook name so I can add you to the group or you can DM me or write it in the, in the comments and we can get started on this great journey of Ayurveda meets essential oils. Thank you so much.